morning. Have a lovely autumn day today. I've risked it today without the waterproofs. Uh, the sky looks nice. I might get a few showers, but. favourite things to uh, ride in. And it's a bit chillier. Just kind of get the benefits of waterproof coats in all but uh, a downpour. Depends how long you're out but certainly keeps the, the, the drizzle off you. Keep you warm. Due to the wind proofing off. Uh, so and uh, specifically on an electric bike, you're not overheating too much as well. Yeah, we've got um, Ivers. Always wear Ivers, I think. There's a lot of heavy lifting in there. People trying to claim cycling safety, but certain weathers and certain lights, it is very, very good. Uh, nice thing about this is it's got the retro reflective stuff on as well so it's great in the dark uh, usually yeah usually um, when I'm riding in the dark a lot I have uh, like a I have to describe it really It's like a um, straps of, of retro reflective, kind of like braces or something, but I suppose not really. Uh, there you go. A bit like this, it's like very much the same as this uh, GoPro harness I'm wearing. Harness is probably the right word actually. So yeah, I usually chuck that over the top of the pipe like Oops. But today, yeah, so I, I, I was looking around for something. Soft shell. I thought I'd give um, Yeah, I thought I would uh, go for a high this one. So it's a workwear style one. Not vintage. Brand new. So ten pounds for it. We'll see how it uh, survives. I wore it the other day actually when I did my short video about those rides that don't make a commute video. Because uh, most of my riding, quite a lot of my commutes are just much shorter errands and it's only only a couple of times a week. Uh, sometimes only once a week, depending on what's 
going on. So. Yeah, it's um. Yeah, so I was, I was just explaining how I have various other bikes that I ride. I picked up a new errand bike. Which is a, a Dahon 20 inch wheel folding bike. Uh, I do have a Brompton, but as I mentioned in that video, locking up your Brompton in public is often problematic. Uh, not so bad if you've got reasonable bike parking and you've carried your big gold or diamond rated lock so you're insured but often you just need to uh, park up in a a uh, well I certainly did you know outside a shop or a random road you go off doing stuff around the ward and you always pass into a street sign or something similar Insurance companies, so anyway, I picked up this little Dahon 8 speed. It's a little bit of work, but it's already done quite a few errands. Got some new tyres for it. enjoy that took it on quite a steep incline the other day the gear range is adequate to that so it'll definitely do the job Yeah, I mentioned in that video as well that I got so wet last week in my last ride video on the way home that my uh, phone had failed it was in a water pocket but I initially planned to put it in my bag but the shots is uh, what's my own fault. Uh, so unfortunately, I have to get a new phone this week. So you might have seen it at the beginning of the video. I've got it in a uh, Rear 
way to the plastic bag as well. Uh, one of the issues is setting up all your apps and um, I've forgotten I haven't put my Garmin until this morning. So currently I'll set it up this morning quickly. Despite signing into my save account, speaking with the same device, it's now decided I want miles per hour. Which I don't, so. Mean. But we'll uh, edit that. So, yeah, so we're apparently doing 10.5, play check. we're at 10.5 miles an hour average speed, uh, which is what, about 16, 17, about right for this uh, this point in the ride. I'm on. Very nice in there, let me pull out there and then uh, give me very little space to sort of um, On tour mode, they're kind of perfect uh, level of assist for a ride in. Ten point seven is the uh, average speed at the moment. Yeah, so sixteen, fifteen point seven, sixteen miles an hour. Moment. So the motor has cut out. Start its tail off then. 